OSHA's Temporary Worker Initiative states that the host employer and staffing company have joint responsibility for ensuring temporary worker safety. The key to successful joint employment is collaboration and communication between the two parties. We have a joint obligation and uh, I, think, I think the key is to communicate with our clients about what our expectations are. Before assigning temporary workers to a client workspace, staffing companies should conduct a safety assessment of host employer work sites and schedule periodic follow-ups. Clients should provide requested safety data and assist in the staffing firm's worksite evaluation. There's making sure that, that our clients have a safe worksite. And so there's a sales piece when we're obtaining a new client through tours, inspections, looking at their, you know, their, their past history of claims and talking with their supervisors and just observing the, the, uh, the physical places where our employees will be working. While host employers are responsible for training temporary workers on the specific hazards of the job, staffing companies should provide temporary workers with a general safety orientation, paying attention to topics that may apply to particular host employer work sites, such as the globally harmonized system for classification and labeling of chemicals, general powered industrial truck safety, and bloodborne pathogens to just name a few. From the standpoint of the staffing uh, industry, uh, we can certainly do things to make our associates aware of the hazards that are involved in any workplace that we send them to. And in fact, we should. We have an obligation to make sure that they understand how to be safe on the job. The host employer is then responsible for providing site-specific and job-specific training, just as it would provide to their own employees. In the event that a temporary worker is injured, a pivotal factor in who has responsibility for recording and reporting is determining which entity is supervising the employee. The supervising entity is responsible for recording the injury on their OSHA log and should also report the injury to OSHA if it involves amputation, loss of an eye, or hospitalization. Both parties should conduct their own incident investigations and discuss conclusions, including corrective actions to be implemented. When your staffing company earns the Safety Standard of Excellence mark, it becomes a recognized ambassador for worker safety, as well as a more attractive choice for candidates and clients. The mark can be a real differentiator in the competitive staffing marketplace.